don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights, yeah. to sort out all the lies. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. This is Fumi B again with another tutorial. I got a request sometime last week or two weeks ago from one of you guys on here asking me to show how to make this beautiful headgear. And I'm here for you as usual. I'm here to show you all how to make this beautiful headgear. So if this type of content is something that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you watch this video to the end. Also, make sure you share this video with someone you know would love this type of content. And please, 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 most importantly, don't forget to hit the like button if you thoroughly enjoyed this video, which I am sure you would. So you can as well just go ahead and hit the like button right now. All right, guys, let's get straight into today's tutorial. Let's go. All right, friends, so as usual, I'll start off by showing you what you need. You need your Asher K or fabric of choice. You need your gum or glue sticks, depending on you and your choice. For this video, I use a combination of my glue stick and this B6000 glue. You also need your tape hole for taking measurements. You need your soldering iron. And if you're frequent on this channel, you know what we use soldering iron for on this channel. You also need your tailor's chalk or tailor's marker to mark measurements on your fabric. What I have here is my Asher K fabric, and it's about... 30 inches wide i have two pieces of ashoke joined together so you would need about two pieces of ashoke joined together if you want something very extravagant you can do three pieces of ashoke that are 30 inches or longer or shorter wide right and then join them together it all depends on you and your preference for me i'm working with those two pieces what i have here is my headband padded and wrapped for those who are new here i have a tutorial on how you can achieve something like this i'm going to try and add it to the cards on this um, page right here so you can go ahead to click on one of those cards that i've added on this um in this video and then go ahead to keep yourself up to date with me and my tutorials so what i'm going to do here now is to just fold over my ashoke if you didn't catch that please rewind and look at how i folded my ashoke and once it's folded you are folding it such that the two edges are not meeting each other it's kind of unequal then you will now start to do your running stitches for those who don't know what a running stitch is just watch the way i'm passing my needle and thread and replicate it on your own project and then be sure that you will get the exact same result as what i get in this my own um work so I'm just going to keep doing my running stitches up until the end of my ashoki, which is 30 inches, like I mentioned earlier. So you keep running the stitches and all of that. And once you get to the end of the ashoki, you now secure your stitch so that you don't lose your gathers. What we are doing here is kind of getting gathers basically. So just imagine it as you in the process of gathering your ashoki in order to move on to the next stage in achieving this particular headgear so as you can see i decided to speed up the process what i'm doing now is trying to see if my gathers is going to sit perfectly on my headband the way i would like so if you've over gathered it's just loosen it up a little and then place it on your headgear again until you achieve what you're looking for and once that is done you can now cut off your thread and then secure your stitch all right guys so right after doing that you want to now go ahead to sew whatever you gathered onto your headband that you already wrapped of course uh i lost a particular footage while filming so that's why it looks as though you missed some information but nothing much okay all i've done so far is just sewn i've gone ahead to sew my headgear the main um, gathered piece onto my headband and i have a tutorial similar to this where i did something like this i'll see if i can link that on the screen so you can go ahead to watch that video if you need some help with doing this whole thing for yourself but nothing much really all you want to do is just place the gathers however you want it to sit on your headband and then go ahead to stitch with your needle and thread and try to keep your stitches very very neat okay so that the work looks very put together also you want to watch this video to the end because there's a surprise at the end of this video those who watched my last vlog have an idea what the surprise is so if you're also interested in knowing please be sure to watch the video to the end so you don't miss out 
on what I have to offer you guys in this particular video. So once I'm done, you know, sewing and all of that, I'm going to flip my headband to the other side and also run some stitches there. So my whatever, like this piece, this um situation going on on top of the headband sits perfectly. You don't want it to be dangling or looking like it wants to fall off, okay? You flip it over just like I've just done and then do some little, little stitches just to make sure that the um main piece the main design on the headband is sturdy on the headband okay it's sitting perfectly without feeling weak or loose or whatever so once that is done all i'm doing here now is trying to not make the design look like a hand fan you can see here that the design is looking like it looks like the edges are very wide and it's like shouting hallelujah sort of so you want it to just curve out a little at the side so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to first of all secure my stitch okay all the stitches i've done to secure this um design on top once i'm done doing that i'll now start to kind of pleat the ashe okay such that the edge doesn't look so wide just like i'm doing in this particular part so just watch me the way i'm moving my hands and trying to pleat my ashe okay and make it sit flat or well not flat just Make it calm down and stop allowing the edges just shoot out at the sides. I hope you guys understand everything I'm saying here, okay? If you don't, please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to help you out. So like I said earlier, I'm going to go ahead to pleat and once I've pleated, I will now use my needle and thread to secure the pleats that I did and that's exactly what I'm doing here. With doing your hand stitching, okay, it requires a lot of patience, especially if you want something that looks really, really nice and put together. So. So for this design, please be sure that you're not doing, um, you're not in a hurry basically so that you get something really, really neat. And also when doing your stitches, use a matching color of thread. I think that one is um, pretty obvious, but I just want to reiterate it, okay? Make sure you're using a matching color of thread so that even if for some reason your stitches are not put together, you can get away with it because the thread is blending with the color of your ashe, okay? But please, this is not to excuse, you know, doing rough stitches, okay? Still try to keep your stitches really, really neat, but make sure that you're using a matching color of thread. And yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead to do that really, really quickly. And I'm also going to repeat it on the other side of this, um, piece that we are working on if you've been enjoying the video so far please be sure to smash the like button okay so i know that you're getting value from watching this video for doing the other side of this headgear i'm not going to film it because it's going to be repetitive in my opinion so i'm just going to do for one side on camera and then i'm going to quickly go off camera do the other side and then we will now get to the final stage in making this particular headgear which is basically us embellishing the headband another thing is the fact that i got a lot of requests for this particular design of ashoki headband and the only difference between the pictures that i got is the size of the headgear so if you want something small use just one piece of ashoki if you want something large use two to three pieces of ashoki joined together of course so feel free to just tweak it to your preference and be sure that you'll get a desirable end result i just wanted to point that out for those who sent me pictures okay i don't want my tutorials to be repetitive so i'm not sure that i'm going to repeat this design again all right guys as you can see i'm pretty much done with that side so i'm going to move on to this next side and voila this is what we have here the next stage for me here is to add my elastic of course those that are frequent on my channel know that this is a hack for me and my design where I just put elastic on the headband so that it allows the headband to sit perfectly on your head. You don't have to worry about your headgear falling off your head when you're in the middle of dancing or moving around and stuff like that. And so once that is done, I'm going to go ahead to embellish my headgear. For those who don't know how to attach elastic to a headband, I have a whole tutorial on that whole process. I'm going to link it in this video. So feel free to go check it out so you can also learn for yourself. So what I'm using to embellish my headgear today is just these little pieces of, um, is it crystals? They call them, I don't know. I got it from a store in Lagos when I went visiting. And yeah, that's what I'm using on the headband over here so once that is done that will be it for this particular tutorial all right guys to the surprise that i have for you guys if you want to own this particular headband please drop a comment in the comment section letting me know what exactly you want to use it for do you want to wear it for a church program are you wearing it for a party are you wearing it for an occasion just let me know down in the comment section what event you would like to wear this headgear to and my favorite comments in the comment section will be 
the owner of this particular headband. Note that you are going to pay for the delivery. You are going to pay to have it shipped to you, but it's all yours. Also, please be sure that for you to win, you need to be following me on Instagram. You need to be subscribed to this channel. And you also need to be following me on TikTok, okay? Very simple. Everything I mentioned now. It's not going to do anything to you, okay? Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe to my channel. And also let me know what events you would like to wear this headgear to. And yeah, may the best man or woman, well, may the best woman win, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I really, really appreciate you all. And yeah, guys, I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye.